Right, so we've got the Oboteak shoot coming up. Always when I'm going out, I want to make sure I've got enough equipment to cover all eventualities. So I've got a number of lenses here that I'll take with me. I've got my 55mm, uh, 80mm and a 110mm lens, which should cover me. I like working with fixed lenses. I've got the 350 Phase 1 digital back on an XF body. Superb camera this. It's got a CMOS chip, which means I can shoot at high ISOs. There might be areas where I don't have much daylight or it's quite dark and I'm going to need to be able to shoot at high ISO. So this camera gives me the latitude of working right across the range. Also it's a 50 megapixel back so I've got enough resolution for what I need. So yeah that's the thing, got my light meter, I use bronze color mainly so I'll be taking a couple of bronze packs with me. I'll be using the graphic packs, I've got a graphic A4, taking a couple of heads, poly boards and some trace. Um, I love working with trace, I love bouncing lights into walls, I love bouncing lights into trace or into poly boards. It's a great way of working and we'll have some C-stands that we can put it on. And yeah, that's what I think I'll be needing. I'm in Camps Bay, I'm at Oboteak, going to be chatting to Dune Cossets about the fashion for our upcoming fashion feature that we're going to be doing. June, before we get going, can you just tell me a little bit, how did you get into this? I know you're one of the top models and you've worked in New York and all over. Yes. Tell us a little bit about how you got into fashion. Um, I've always had a passion for fashion. From modeling, I actually first got into makeup and then I started making little jewelry pieces and that took off and then I just grew and grew from there and then I started doing clothes. Okay. So I've gone with the longer dresses. Um, a little bit more flowy at the bottom, more romantic. And um, what fabrics are these? Yeah, as you can see, all the, these are all imported from Europe. They're made with the best fabrics. Every piece is hand beaded. This is quite beautiful. It looks like a fairy tale dress. Lovely. Some transparency at the bottom. Yeah. And I can see some feathers maybe on the head. Okay, um, yeah, we can style that. it and make it a little bit more fairy tale ish. Can you do makeup for. Um, different lighting. If you have um, lighting that's internal and it's um, set up a certain way, obviously your makeup needs to change a little bit compared to shooting outside. Um, the sun lighting is totally different. You can't use any powder. It needs to be as natural as possible. The skin needs to glow. Whereas if you're shooting indoors, you can actually go quite a bit heavier because your light is uh, modified and, and more intense. Um, my own jewelry line that I've designed okay. as well. I love that. I love that ring. Yes, this is the yeah. ring I'm wearing at okay, the moment. No, the chakra ring. Every stone in my jewelry um, has a healing attribute. Okay. So this is the chakra ring, and I'm sure everyone knows. Yeah, all, so there's all the different chakras, chakras in your body. In that, yeah. And every stone that represents those. It'd be quite nice to bring that into the shoot. And I think we, when we get, there, I know we've got a beautiful location, but when we get there, I think I must just have a look at. I think water would be elements that we can maybe bring Definitely. in, um, flowers and things like that that we can bring in to bring that sort of complement that, yeah. Which I like would be that awesome. a lot, yes. 